Honestly, after after the first miss, I, I hit. I didn't even know what the score was. I just went out there and kicked it. And uh, after that, I mean, it was a miss, but I had to move on because I knew it was going to come down to it either way. You always got to prepare. But I mean, as time got close, we stopped them. And then there was four minutes left. So I was like, this is going to come down to a game winner. And I was just same old routine. We practice it every week, game winning kick. And it went through. Go, go through the kick because it sounded like looking at Twitter and the snap was a little bit high and Kaysen did a really good job of getting uh, it. Down. Yeah, um, I mean the snap was a little high, but uh, Kaysen got it down. It happened on on the, the miss too, but Kaysen got the second one down uh, in time. And uh, I mean anything inside the 30, usually, you know, if it's a bad snap, uh, as long as I tell Kaysen, as long as you get it down, I'll, I'll be able to put it through. And uh, I hit the ball very well and uh, it went right down the middle. And like you kind of alluded to in the first question, the, the miss, how important was it to just completely block that out and, and, and refocus? Cause you know, uh, I mean, like I said, it happens. Obviously, uh, uh, fans out there and everyone, you know, want me to, to keep making field goals because, you know, I've only missed two, but it, it's going to happen. Uh, not everything not everything was perfect. The snap was a little high, uh, which which caused Kaysen to, to miss the spot. But at the end of the day, it's, it comes on me. I put it on me because we don't we didn't we didn't work that that much. Gabber didn't work that much this week uh, on, on snaps, and uh, I put I put the miss on me. Well, you know we got to work on that this week and uh, and work more situations like that. And um, but yeah, you know you put that through. I, I told Gabbard, Gabbard, we're gonna we're gonna hit another one, and you got to be you got to be there to snap. And I told Kason, Kason was calming me down, and I I, t- I was fine. You know, miss to miss, uh, moved on because I know the next the the most important one's the next one. Once again, it wasn't pretty, but another victory for this team, still mm-hmm. undefeated. How do you guys continue to come out there and just keep finding ways? Uh, I mean, it, Boston College is a great team. Uh, they're not a team to overlook. Uh, this weather, it was tough to play in. Uh, it was cold. It was it was rainy. Uh, I mean, but then at the end of the day, uh, uh, we find ways to win, you know. Uh, and uh, obviously, we, we didn't like our performance uh, this, this Saturday, but... Um, we have we have to learn from it and uh, and move on because we got Florida next week and uh, have a good week of practice and uh, and try to try to try to play a lot better uh, against Florida and uh, just move on. With everything that that happened uh, on campus this mm-hmm. week uh, at Strozier, and does that kind of put everything in perspective? And was it kind of important to come out here and play and kind of help the healing process? Mm-hmm. On I mean, campus? although you know, with the the incidents that happened on on campus and everything, it was it was an emotional week, uh, an emotional game. We knew it was going to happen. And uh, I mean, we had to come out there and play, you know, and, you know, nothing really changed because people are relying on us, you know, to get their minds off of that. And uh, they want to go to the game. They want to see us, you know, play and come out with a victory. And I feel coming out with a victory, you know, uh, it's very good for, for the community and, and for the school. 